Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a discussionary video. Now, the last video that I posted, we obviously went into the weekly nightmares and I was trying to do this one and as you saw that I technically struggled on it. And I wanted to talk to you guys about something very interesting as far as a concept or an idea that I think about the next stage of this Rune Terror stuff, right? I don't want to be negative or too positive or anything of that nature, right? But what I'm thinking about is what would be the next thing that they can do to increase the power of these characters and possibly not really make too much money out of it. Uh, it's something that I think for the people, right? Because I feel like these challenges are cool and there's just one there's one thing that I need to get off the, the boat right off the bat. First thing that they need to do is eliminate this stuff and nobody cares about the gemstones and things like that. I think they are called gemstones if I'm not mistaken, right? Uh, Nova shards, star crystals, which is for the uh, certain powers, right? The star crystals. And that goes across each shadow Isles or each uh, region character and then the gemstones remove gemstones guys please 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 just remove them nobody cares nobody will buy them it's it's a fail safe now if they would i would rather them take the gemstones out remove them completely from the, uh, the game just require some of this stuff to just require more fragments you guys might argue or bend, bend the back on me on that. Like maybe, not, not obviously 250 of them. I would, I think that, that would be too much. But rebalance it for to w go with fragments. The reason why is because you get more fragments doing literally everything. It would allow your characters to, it would allow you to get more bang for your buck from the bronze vault and things of that nature. It still sucks to me getting uh, duplicates from the bronze vault for three star characters uh, that only stay up to three star because there's not much to do with them, right? You can't really invest more into these characters. Like, so when it comes to like Diana, like I can't do anything more with this character outside of once I give her the three and that's it. So every time I get Diana from a bronze, it just kind of gets wasted. So it just kind of sucks. They also don't have banks for stuff. As you guys know, I've said they need an EXP bank. That would have been amazing to have. So when you're doing challenges, like I can't ever really use Diana. Like I would like to, but if I have to do all the other harder challenges on a weekly basis, I have to use my max level character in order to do that, right? And then my max level character, all that EXP goes nowhere, but they still give you like four or 5,000 to complete uh, EXP to complete but it's usually going to be on a max character. So I feel like it's just an oversight. A lot of roguelike games and I have to, you guys got to remember, this is a roguelike uh, car game, uh, the Path of Champions is, right? So you're using a character you're going through and these are these upgrades are what you would normally get after, we call it like meta currency, right? So your meta currency usually is stuff that can go throughout and increase the enhancement of the, the entirety of the account, right? So the, the entirety of the account is pretty much mostly by before it was just like the fragments the champion fragments and then the wild fragments here right so these were the two ones they introduced this but as you guys know there's really no way to farm a specific thing there's no way to go for a goal right so i have a runeterra nova shard if i'm not mistaken because a crystal because i got a bunch of new nova shards over time right but i couldn't target it as the same reason you guys know my baby girl <coughs> vex my baby girl Vex, I have, uh, I don't have any way to get her to where I want her to go, and there's no way that I could target that. And that's just a pretty big no-no in the, in the realm of roguelikes. I play a lot of roguelikes, that's why I created the other channel. I haven't been able to upload on it recently, but the reason why I do that is like, look at this. I have no way to do any of this. The star crystal stuff is kind of wonky in my opinion, and then to reduce the gemstones. But I wanted to come up with a concept for you guys as far as like another way to that they can kind of rework this right the first thing i said is remove gemstones entirely and just make it that you just get more fragments and then just kind of increase the fragment generation over time they could also do that for the nova shards just take out the nova shards as well uh you guys let me know in the comment section but what i really wanted to talk about is the possibility of getting four slots how do you guys feel about four slots uh, I would love that, right? I would love that, especially if you can run four purple, uh, I mean, four stalkers, blades, you know, like stuff like that. I, I feel like, I mean, three has been really good and it's been an absolute phenomenal um, benchmark that they place because you really don't want to give like a jillion slots a bunch of passive is this is not path of exile you know this is not what is it, like diablo i think you can do a bunch of passives and stuff like that but i do think that eventually like going past the level 30 cap that would also 
make those bronze vaults a little bit better going past the level 30 caps uh, and then interjecting maybe 40 if not to 50 level 50 uh into these characters right and then kind of like leveling out the constellation stuff right i think that they could have did a, a better job as far as like doing the constellations and maybe making it like instead of it being so like like some of the stuff is gated with other currencies that maybe it's just more like investment time investment uh that it, that it goes through because when you play uh when mobile games which is what they're basing their monetization model over right let's just be honest when you do that right when you're making when you're making a change like that mo mobile games are usually your uh, a good monetization schedule or, or, or good monetization is that you're basically paying for time your time saving mechanisms right like right now currently with this whole thing with this is not really time saving right it's actually just i can't target this at all and they said that they were working on it they're a small team i've you know we heard it all day but like it as far as my time investment i can literally not i could play i could skip a whole month or i could play for a whole month and i could be in the same position as you can see i've been uploading uh pretty much every day and if sometimes i don't upload i'll still actually still work on my account maybe it just took me too long to edit uh even though i don't edit as much as crazy but still but look i have no nova shards and no nova crystals right so I would need, I, and as far as like me every day, I need something to work towards, right? So if they just kind of tied the thing with the level and then made it that like when you're four star, right? Like maybe four star, five star, six, that would actually like what? Six slots. I think six slots would be crazy, but maybe like you just every, every so often you actually unlock a additional slot similar to how you do level up the character, right? And I think that it's time for four slots. I think that four slots would just, it would make... As far as, let's go with first content creation, because that's where I'm coming from, right? Some people ask me, like, why do I, you know, oh, you know, I could, I beat that challenge really easily with Morgana, right? And I'm like, okay, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think I've seen Morgana. I've seen some people say ASOL. I think ASOL pretty much can beat all the harder, harder challenges. Nothing really stops ASOL, right? And I'm not, I hope you guys, I'm not knocking the people that say that, but from a content creator perspective, if, let's say Vex beats everything, right? I can't upload... 10, 10 vex videos back to back to back to back i really can't do that right so it would actually be and what they've been doing the strategy they've been doing anyway is just like taking old concepts right that's what like the swing challenge and then like revamping it right it's very easy for them to do that right very very easy now them adding another slot increasing levels that could mess up their economy obviously they have to keep my, be mindful of that i don't i'm just a uh, guy on the internet i don't really care about their profit margins that greatly obviously i want the company to stay afloat so so we can keep playing it but as far as just being interested i think we've been always stuck in this bubble of only using three uh slots right three slots it, even if they want it to be as three uh three slots can only upgrade the purple and then you really can't do that last slot they also have a a, a Thing that i only had one of where it's like you can turn a green into a purple and maybe they have it that it's a green and then if you have to force it into a purple by using that one thing which is purchasable which i hate to give money schemes like that but i think that that would be interesting so just let's, let me think of just vex here right so if i were to even have one more slot let's say it can go up to purple right like that just kind of changes how the character can be built right there's way more fun stuff i could just even slap in a spectral scissors or i could slap in uh just literally in like a jace hex tech battery it's like so many characters will just explode right if you have that fourth slot available to you i really think that that's just kind of crazy like to even oh i can draw all this stuff plus uh disciple of shadows i can even run a really cost like effective stuff like disciple of shadows plus the two plunder things and the swain relic right though so you doing like a huge mega discount to get even bigger champions potentially out in the field earlier right so it just really like like that's just basic examples right like i said i i started off the video kind of talking about uh, uh, this would be a pretty cool one too like a bunch of warning shots coming into the hand even though we know that's a hand space issue but or maybe a bunch of golden spatulas and then also also i mean some of these then like i mean like this right now is limited to three because it only has three slots right so a lot of the times i'm getting silver records and they're going nowhere right they're just going like meeting the other currency and this is why i wanted to add this in there too is that some people are relying on the dupe uh dupe economy right the dupe <laughs> the dupe economy so that they can actually get 
let me just oh not the monthly channel sorry uh so they can get this currency what is the current i always forget the name because they have too many of them this currency they're relying on the dupe economy to kind of get this currency to allow them to get their golden reliquary reliquary uh every month right they're using that they're they're basically boom they get three thousand as soon as they hit three thousand all these other dupes that they're getting throughout everything else is going to just add into the to their regular resources right but my challenge to you would that be is that eventually i mean at one point you weren't at max everything right all of us didn't have a crazy account where a lot of our characters are max right but them increasing it yeah there'll be a, a harsh period where you have to then recap but you're also getting more power in your account in general which is what that currency is for anyway that currency is to boost up your account and when it's boosting up your account it is also you know eventually then bam you're just getting resources and you're stacking on dupes it's going to happen everywhere anyway but the problem is like their dupe system i think that their dupe system in general is just like it's just a little lackluster lackluster like i said there's no exp banks uh the wild fragments for a long time remember that for a long time they were only stacked at i think 100 right so once you hit that cap or got near that cap they used to have that little warning and they'll be like yo you got to use your wild fragments or else they're, you know you're just gaining nothing and i felt bad for someone like spicy i bring him up a lot like because he's you know basically was playing the game from poc he fell in love with it very early and i always think about a person like him that was basically i, I actually don't even know if they refunded him like just but like basically he would just play right and he would grind and make videos and all those additional resources went absolutely nowhere it would have been a nice courtesy to a person like him and anyone else that played and had a maxed out account that they like retroactively gave them rewards that just went into the ether but outside of that you know basically what my point is that you're eventually going to get to that point everyone's going to get to that point so adding more to strive for is great they did add more to strive for with the constellations but like your character is still level 30 so exp is still dumped out to there uh, and then we're basically trying to grind resources from stuff that you can only use your strong characters on and i feel like if i could at least level up characters maybe like i said for the three star characters that are currently in the game we could see that their plan and their plan obviously is to slowly but surely bring in a actual runeterra like regular the main pvp part of the game bring in a character from there add them into the roster right that's step one and then take one of the three stars and then make them six stars right that's basically all they've been doing uh but for me that doesn't doesn't seem like enough it, it doesn't give me an incentive to level up orn or thrash uh, it just makes it like i have to work on these characters and when you have a fight where they're summoning five units with large stats you know i really can't even use nami i can't use orn i can't use neela as much as like i mean like i'm saying as an example could i use them probably so there probably is a way that i can get them out there but unless they like they have to like perfectly fit but it kind of sucks you know like i'm forced to use the characters that are made available the resources of getting their the stars up is is very limited because you know they have so many different currencies I rather them just remove more of the currencies and then allow us to maybe advance characters further, even if they're not a uh, six star, right? So I could just level a soul Yasuo Vex up to like level 50, get a fourth slot. And then again, the biggest thing, like I just said, I, I, I just was talking about like just overwhelming. There'd be more builds to go with, right? So for example, this Gwen build, like I have just having another car, like another relic here like that just allows you to do crazy builds the build paths go up the content goes up as a as a, a normie i don't like saying normie but like you know as a person that doesn't create content you'll also have more fun too right like content creators try to extend the fun or make it seem seem more fun than they are <laughs> by just giving you the hype moments you guys don't like to see the lost moments as much but you know you'd have more like oh spell weaver scissors you know like like there's like so many like weird quirky uh, things that you would be able to do Starforge gauntlet would become crazier right because then you can actually add more stat stuff because you have three additional slots to really make another unit titanic without having to waste it on something super gimmicky right i do find that that's i guess that's just where my headspace is right i'm just thinking of really really cool ways to help uh, to, to make your characters or have more fun in the game i think the fourth slot would do that if they don't want to compromise with me and actually do the other changes that i mentioned i think a fourth slot would just be overall good i feel like it it 
if they want to make it that it's level based or they just give every character a fourth slot they have to tie it to the level because the slots are based on level anyway so they would have to increase the level by at least to level 40 right it, it would give you something to grind for it would give these already strong characters uh, they wouldn't be wasting an exp or just at the fucking exp bank they could do that too but hopefully you guys understand i'm just trying to like cover multiple bases on ways that they can improve the game in its current state and I think that the game currently is fine. It's just that some of the, the sinkholes of time just to me kind of like makes me upset. Like the whole aspect of whatever BS reason that they gave, uh, someone kept trying to convince me like the weekly nightmare, the hardest version, the hardest challenge, giving the minor gemstone vessel when literally there's a two, I think there's like two steps above it, right? They have the silver and I think they also have gold and possibly even a platinum star vessel, which is way better, right? Though they do offer it in other different, I think there's one in the monthly, like one or two in the monthly, like right here, the, the platinum vault, they, they look at the minor gemstone vessel, because this is the stuff that gets that gemstone stuff, but no one cares about it. I've never seen anyone make a video about, oh my god, I'm so happy I got 10% more EXP, or I'm, I, I get more uh, starting gold, uh, whatever, like no one cares, like they just... It start refining. I get that. that start refining this shit. Like, yeah, the gold star vessel at 50 wins. And I, what do they say? Oh, we won't want. We want to have really good rewards to uh, reward the players, but not punish the players that can't reach that. Well, the players can't really get to those other points because they're limited on how they can actually upgrade those characters, right? Like, they can't upgrade them too far, or if they don't, if you guys decide to make another PNC, <laughs> another PNC six star constellation uh then what are we you know how are we supposed to like actually level that up you only got so much and there's no way to exchange i know that they're going to do it eventually they said that they were going to do like some type of exchange or a resource transformation exchange uh, currency thing but until then i i want to put my hat in the in the ring and say this is how i like them to change up the game let me know in the comment section how you guys would like it are there any changes that you would like you guys come up with amazing suggestions sometimes when it comes down to this stuff and I'm not obviously this video wasn't about how to monetize the game I think that they already have found out how to monetize the game and they're they're doing it pretty decently well but at the same time there's a lot of little weird nuances to what they did and like when it comes to the shop and the bundles and time gating stuff but the time gating stuff is bad I think it's always bad when it's random like the only time that it's not random is if you want to shut out that hundo dalo and then you're getting to a specific nova shard for a specific region and I still feel like that's just icky. I, I feel like I wouldn't mind $100 uh, spending it if there was a, a realistic time to say that I'm saving myself for, right? What do I mean by that? If they was to say that it takes two months to actually get an overshard of my choosing, and I would say, well, I could do it in two months or $100, then it's fine. But since I don't have a, a frame of reference for that, I don't feel comfortable spending that money because then I'm basically spending money to fulfill something that's literally infinite uh which is it, that just bothers me so hopefully you guys like this type of video i like to do them every once in a while it's the end of uh, august and we're going into september they're going to have another update i wish i was a bigger creator so maybe they would listen to me or, or take it, some of my suggestions seriously and especially you guys in the comments like i said you guys do a phenomenal job of coming up with ideas and concepts like when they when you guys when we did a, the video on the relics you guys had some amazing things and i actually wonder not that it was probably from my video but then we have stuff like the hextech rifle really good uh it's not tied to caitlin it just works best with caitlin and it also could potentially work with another characters or if you just randomly want to do a trap build i could usually i could actually use the hextech rifle in lilia lilia actually has a unit that gives a bunch of flash bombs and i could just keep summoning i might do that as a video myself but there's other ways to use the hextech rifle with the flash bomb traps that has nothing to do with caitlin if you want to and then they have the really good banger which was cease and assist which as i've shown there's many way different ways to activate it and most people are finding even more unique ways of activating it absolutely amazing I, that's that's because of feedback guys not just from my channel but that's for feedback of them just really paying attention to the community so i'll give them some kudos for cease and assist starforge gauntlet but let's keep going and keep making the game good because there are eyes on this game more than i think people know of and if the game gets too tedious tedious i was going to say tedious some or tiresome and tedious and people don't want to actually log in every day the numbers start going down it's because people are playing on a regular basis and they don't really see their time investment being realized and i think that that's what is a big fear for me is that similar to the reason why grappler left right grappler left because 
he felt that he still liked the game he still liked to play pvp but if the game is dying out then there's really no purpose now is the game dying out no i don't think so but it could get there if they keep if they make like and i was gonna say keep making wrong decisions they're not making too many of them but if they make a bunch of wrong decisions in a row it, there's some danger to that so let me know how you guys feel in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video because i got some crazy concepts as you guys know, I just don't have the time to do it, so I thought a discussion video would be good for today. And then I have a couple things that I, I want to work on. I got some surprise for you, and it's called a big-ass spider with another big-ass spider and a build that you guys have never seen Elise do. I'll tell you that right now. You've never seen Elise do this, and you're going to love it.